tell us about the dude you both dated that made you guys frenemies when what, you were uh, young. Can, do you remember his last this name? Is from Chelsea. Oh, hell. Yeah, that is his last Let name. Let me look him up. Let me look him up. Oh, my God. So, guys, here's what happened, right? I started dating a guy. Uh, we'll call him Jay. I started dating him, and Wheezy was his ex. And I guess Wheezy was not over him, but he had moved on to me. He, Mandy, he, he was lying. On, bro, we went to Disney World together on Christmas, bro. He like, still was yeah, texting. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, so you was, okay, you were probably still the side chick. I'm looking him Maybe up. Maybe you was giving him pussy. I wasn't. Mm. I never had sex with me him. Me neither. That is the crazy thing. We also fought over a nigga that we never had sex with. It'd be like that. But, but I was with him on Christmas at Disney with a friend and met the family. Thank Mandy, you. I think he lives in Brooklyn now. No fucking way. He does not live here. The only person with his first and last name <laughs> went to school in Orlando, had That's some work in Orlando. Yeah. He was from New York. Yeah. Uh, he was a New York nigga, wasn't he? He's back. Dog, we got to invite him. When we do a live show, I'm, I'm my mama. We oh got to invite him. Oh my God. Because I bet you he's not that cute no more. I bet you he's, oh my God. Is he cute? Facebook? Can you see a picture of him? No, it's just okay. LinkedIn. Well, oh. That's probably why he wanted me because I could braid his hair and you probably couldn't. Oof. I couldn't. I know you couldn't. Uh, but, anyways, <laughs> we literally just started this. Uh, just battle because she was still claiming to be in the picture, but this was my boyfriend. Uh, I wasn't claiming, but she was what? claiming. Yes. Um, and so again, this was back in 2004, 2005. Let's, let's talk about more the guy more than the whole story. What was he like? How he young worked were at a, he worked at a vet when I was dating him. Mm -hmm. His sister was a veterinarian. Yes, he was like an assistant, and he was like an assistant at the vet. I mean, he had a car. He was an older guy. I probably shouldn't have been with him now that I think about it. I he was, was in a, high school too, though. I thought. No, I was a freshman. He had graduated high school by the time I was a freshman. Wow. He was out of he was out of high school. He was like 18, but graduated high school. I was 14, 15. Okay. I met him when he was in high school. Yeah, you did. Because you dated him like a year before I did. That's right. Yeah, by the time I dated him, he was... he was. You stole her, man. I didn't steal him. He was single when I, when I met him. Dude, mm -hmm. honestly, I, I'm trying to remember as much as I can. It didn't seem like Mandy and him were to get when we would speak because he was just like, oh, I just met this girl. Because niggas lie. Niggas lie. And no, but we did find that out and we finally became friends because Mandy and I got on the phone and was talking about the shit he was saying. And it was like, no, nah, because we became friends way later. Yes, because we bonded talking about what the fuck Jay did. Okay. Fuck that nigga. So anyway. Anyway, fuck wow. him though. So that's how, uh, yeah, that's what happened. What's next? What other question? Uh, uh, okay, there you go. Uh, I've never said y'all in my life. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, has a guy or girl ever seen y'all in person lied about not knowing who y'all were and tried to get with, I'm going to just say it, y'all. Shout out to G. Clark Jr. Y-A-W, he's saying. So I went on a riot date where a guy didn't tell me he knew who I was till the end of the date, and I didn't like that. And he, um, I think he listens to, he might be listening to this episode. He said he's listened to every episode. I mean, so what's crazy is one of my like partners that I talked about often on the show and he listens to this episode. Uh, he listens to the podcast. He, uh, when you guys knew I had a guy in my life that like put me on payroll, I think is how I described him on the show. Right. Uh, he didn't tell me until maybe three years into us, like really fucking with each other. You knew he listened. No, no but no, he didn't know me from the podcast. Oh, 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 oh that's he right. knew me from Twitter days and my blogging. And no, so what's crazy that's is why he tricked on you the first day. So what oh, happened he knew was wasn't shit. That's exactly probably <laughs> how. So my very first job uh, here when I moved to New York, I helped open the Applebee's across from the Barclays. I was a bartender there, and this, this guy. Yeah, still there. This guy came in and he was so strategic and he told me all this. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He sat at my bar. He ordered, uh, he had, I don't know, wings and stuff. Didn't really talk to him at all. But I knew he asked to put the Orlando magic on TV. I was like, of course, I'm fucking from Orlando. I'm in New York. You're a magic fan. Oh, my God. He's like, yeah. She went down. She he, he's from. like, yeah. You know, I used to live in Central Florida. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, OK, cool. Um, and then when he went to leave, his bill was $40. He left me a $40 tip. So, of course, we exchanged numbers. Mm -hmm. And then literally he told me three years later, like, I knew exactly who you were, where you work, because you tweeted about it. I came in, <gasps> knew you were a Magic fan. Wait, that's wait, why wait, I wait, asked. You knew where you worked because you tweeted? Of course. I, oh, but back sick. then, I didn't. Oh, like, he knew I was at that's the Applebee's. Crazy. Like, nigga, I used to tell fans, pull up wherever I bartended. Oh, okay. Like, okay. I was a bartender. Oh, well, pull yeah. up. That's different. Like, I used to tell people yeah, where I bartended. Hey, it's my ship tonight. Like, they used to always come to the clubs that I worked at. But he didn't <laughs> tell me that it was strategic. 
his tip that he left, me him asking for the magic game. You and, were probably talking shit and tweeting back. And I didn't, so I, like, I didn't know until like years later after he became my sugar daddy. What did I really call him? My partner. Uh, that he knew exactly who I was the whole time. Wow. I think if he would have said it at that moment, it would have been okay. But so far after that, Th- like three little, years later, oh, that's tough. After like we have nah, sex, you, you got, paying you, my bills because when you're making it too late, uh, three years, like how could you not? I, yeah, he had to tell yeah. me like, oh, I, yeah, oh, I knew you when I pulled up you to the Applebee. When's the last time you've heard from him? Oh, we still talk. That's dope. that's cool. We still talk so much so, so to where he, uh, you know, uh, I went to Miami and he knew I was going to Miami to host, so he was gonna pull up on me, and he was, he was like, like, yeah, so going? he was like, so next weekend's still a thing. I said, uh. If you want to grab a drink with me and my boyfriend, and he was like, sent the little asterisk and was like, uh, refunds night at Fountain Blue. <laughs> refunds <laughs> like, night? Oh. He he canceled his reservation. I would uh, have too. Because he's just like, he eh, I don't know. Hold on. I was pussy. like, damn, so we not friends? 